Well, hey folks, welcome back to another Timber Talk Tuesday. I'm Ricky McLean with Woodworks. Now, I get asked pretty often by young engineers and architects, as well as by students, how they can get their start in mass timber. Now, each of us that is currently working in mass timber has a unique story, a unique background as to how we got here and how we got our start. And I thought, what better way to explain how others have gotten their start then by sharing some stories. Now, I really want to highlight and emphasize the unique roles that engineers play in mass timber and really lift up young engineers and show the opportunities to them, especially female young engineers. So I'm gonna bring in into this three-part video series, three female engineers, and they're gonna share their stories on how they got their start in mass timber, as well as some of the recommendations they have for others looking to get into it. So without further ado, here is Tanya Luthi, Vice President of Structures with Intuitive, based in New York City, Anna Vita Rand, Senior Engineer with Thornton Tomasetti, based in Portland, Maine, and Parisa Nasiri, Senior Fire Engineer with Holmes, based in the San Francisco Bay Area. I got started with Mass Timber completely by chance. When I was an engineering student, I never took a wood course. My master's research was on post-tension concrete. And then at the start of my career, I worked for a firm in New York City and everything I did was steel and concrete. And I didn't think anyone built real buildings out of wood. And then because I get restless very easily, about five years into my career, I more or less threw a dart at the map and I decided to move to Vancouver. And it just so happened that I found a job with a firm that works on a lot of mass timber projects. So I started with one project, it was a large office building. And to this day, it's still one of my favorite projects I've ever worked on. And I found there was just a lot to love about designing wood buildings. You know, the biggest thing for me is that mass timber is evolving so quickly. It, you know, it really keeps you on your toes, but it's also sustainable and it's beautiful. So I got started with mass timber when I was assigned to a project called 317 Main Street, which is a community music center just a couple towns over from Portland. And they were looking for an addition to their existing facilities, which is an old wood frame building. And the new addition had just a mass timber component to it. So it was mostly stick framed. And then the auditorium of this new space was a full CLT auditorium. So it had CLT walls on all four sides, as well as a CLT roof that we were supporting um, by the walls at the perimeters and by steel framing um, at the interior bearing points. And so that was my first exposure to mass timber. We right away um, had selected uh, SmartLam as the manufacturer for the CLT. And so it was great to have that experience of having early manufacturer involvement and talking with them about typical details they use um, and, and using their specific design strength properties during our calculations. Um, I think that was a great learning experience just in that selecting the manufacturer is such a good thing to do at an early stage in the project. And I think that helped our project go pretty smoothly. Um, but yeah, that was definitely my first experience and, and understanding what are the, the lateral requirements that you need to look at for CLT, looking into the NDS 2021 SPIDWIS code for the first time, um, because that is how we were able to achieve our um, or, or how we were able to use CLT as a lateral element in the building. For me, well, I have a background in civil engineering for my bachelor's and I did my master's in fire protection engineering with a bit of focus on structural fire engineering. And I always wanted to work on topics or materials that provided me with the opportunity to use both of my skills. So after a couple of years into, uh, into my career, the draft version of the tall wood building provisions um, was was released and that was how I really got into mass timber. I was working on um, other mass timber projects that were smaller or shorter, um, but it was the tall wood building um, that really pulled me into it. Mm -hmm. 